Hi everyone. Today is Rice Admissions Q and A. My name is Lisa from Pflugerville Public Library's Teen Advisory, and we have a, um, a panel of Rice students, current Rice students, with us. Um, behind the scenes, Hawthorne, our youth services librarian, and um, in addition, we're hoping to have an admissions counselor to, have, to answer some admissions questions. But unfortunately, we didn't hear back in time. And right before we get to introductions, I have a list of questions that you would like to life and culture. And we have some general college questions, but most of them are going to be rice specific. Um, towards the end, we have admissions related questions, but I mean, we can try our best with those. And if we can't answer them, that's okay. So introduction, just mention your name, your year, your first year, second year, etc. Um, there are areas of interest if you're undecided or undeclared. And then just that you like about rice, and it can be anything. Whoever would like to start. Okay. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Um, I'm a freshman at Rice. Um, I'm on the swim team and I'm interested in studying applied math. Um, my favorite thing about the college is the residential college system, um, which is unique to Rice. Um, so I'm in Jones College and I'm actually wearing a sweatshirt now. But yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Imogen. Uh, I'm Elizabeth's roommate. Uh, I'm actually an international student and I'm also on the swim team. Uh, I'm interested in studying computer science. Um, and my favorite thing about Rice is definitely the community. I mean, we have the residential colleges, but being able to re interact with other residential colleges as well and host events despite COVID has been really fun so far. Hi, I'm Shreya. Um, I'm a freshman. And my major is health sciences and I'm pre-med. And my favorite thing about Rice is the same as both of them said, I think it has a really strong community. And one thing specifically is that it's really easy to reach out to upperclassmen and have inter-class interactions. Okay, so our first question is, what is something that aided in your transition from high school to college? Um, I can answer this one. So specific to Rice, we have this thing called Orientation Week or O Week. Um, and it's basically meant to just be a transition into Rice um, to get to know your peers before classes start, to make connections to upperclassmen, uh, plan classes and sign up for classes, and just basically get settled. And you have one week to do that. And there's different activities every day. And it really um, throws you into rice culture and uh, prepares you for what's ahead. Yeah, and so in O week you get set up in a group, um, and you end up being close with your group even after O week. So all three of us were in the same O week group, and we still have, I mean, we still talk a lot. And um, our whole group has dinners like every Monday night together, um, even if it's on Zoom. Like. We talk a lot and it's nice to just have people to go to um, that you might not necessarily um, be close with if you weren't in OE groups together. So you have people from different majors um, and then your advisors are upperclassmen, which is really cool. Um, oh, sorry. I was just going to add, I think from what Shreya said earlier with the uh, interclass interactions, especially being on an athletics team, uh, the ability to just reach out to people with more college experience than you um, really helped at the beginning to get to know the campus life. Okay, our next question is, do you find it relatively easy to balance your schoolwork and social life? So coming into this year, I had no idea what to expect with like school and social life balance, especially with COVID. Um, and I knew it'd be hard. So all of my classes ended up being on Zoom. Some people had in-person classes. Um, so I thought it might be hard to meet people, but our residential college hosts so many events. And it's so easy to get to meet people um, within your college, which is really cool. But then also, um, like there are there's commons in each residential college. And so you can just go and hang out in those commons. And you meet a lot of different people there. Um, just like by walking around and talking to people, which is really cool. And then also being on an athletics team, um, you automatically have like a group of maybe 30 people that um, you get to know, which is really cool. Um, so even though inside your classes, it might be harder to meet people, there's ways outside of your classes. I also think um, there's a since there's a really strong community here, people are always 
going to be um, studying together and like having study groups, which is really helpful because you're being productive and also getting those interactions with other people. Um, I'm not on an athletics team like they are, but I still found ways to um, meet people outside of my college um, just through clubs and different other groups. Um, it's pretty, I found, although this the work is rigorous, I found it is easy to balance when you meet people who are all going through the same thing and just like stick together with them. Okay, so our next question. So since you guys have wrapped up, I, I believe your first semester, is that right? Yeah. Um, what has been your most memorable class you have taken at Rice so far? And there's like a part two to this question. How easy is it to take classes outside of your major? So maybe address the first question first. So what was your first, what was your most memorable class this semester? Um, for me, it's actually a class outside my major. Um, I decided to take French just because I took it in high school. I thought it might be nice to continue it at college. Um, and it's been really nice because for me, it was in person, luckily. Uh, and I could meet lots of people sort of in the same position as me. Not many people were actual French majors. but So um, just learning a new language, uh, it wasn't as intense as computer science was really nice. Um, I would say my most memorable, memorable class um, this semester was the intro to um, CAM class, which is my major um, class. And it's an intro into like learning how to use MATLAB, which I didn't, um, I haven't had coding experience before. So it was hard at first, but once I got to learn how to use um, the coding, it was a fun like project-based class that I could do. And it helped me decide um, really that I did want to be an applied math major. I think my most memorable class, memorable class was um, introduction to women, gender, and sexuality. And I, that was also not in my major. I took that as a humanities credit. So this will kind of go into your next question. But at Rice, you're required to take three classes in three different categories. Um, the three categories are um, humanities, social science, and natural science. And um, so that's like a really good way to make sure that people are taking classes outside of their major so that they can explore different interests. There's like a wide variety of classes that count for um, those distribution credits. And I I did one of like the one that I took was um, a humanities credit and I found it to be really, really interesting. And now I'm even considering uh, minoring or majoring in women, gender and sexuality. So I thought it was a Rice makes it very easy to um, explore outside of your major. And it's really flexible. Even if you want to take a class that's not a, a distribution credit, like it's very easy to just take whatever you're interested in. Um, our next question is, what resources have you taken advantage of at Rice? Or what, research, what resources are you interested in taking advantage of, since you guys are virtual? So um, one cool resource that each residential college has is something called fellows, um, where some upperclassmen students can choose to um, offer office hours for certain classes. So some big classes like chemistry um, or physics that a lot of like freshmen or um, sophomores take that they can go to just to ask questions um, if they need help. And it's very convenient because it's also people you might know in your college. Um, and so you feel comfortable talking to them. So that's just one so far that I've used. Um, each college also has peer academic advisors and um, residential health health associates. So there's basically a um, lot of resources to um, that are there for your physical, mental, and like academic well being. So. So our next question is, what kind of um, what kind of advising is present at Rice, for example, when choosing classes? And then what has your experience been with academic advisors? So um, during O week, which is like the first week of um, before classes start, um, that's when you choose your classes as a freshman. And you get a lot of information um, during that week from the academic advisors. And so you'll have advisors within your college and then within your like interested department um, for your major and they can help you 
if you're like wondering how to schedule. Um, and so there's different times where you can like sign up for appointments with them even throughout the year. Um, so that like that one week we had a, a lot of like advising sessions. Ours ended up being over Zoom um, where you got to know like more general information. But as you go on, um, like for right now, when we're scheduling classes for next semester, it's really easy to like make an appointment with them and just talk and get advice about scheduling classes. And in addition to um, having upperclassmen to help advise you, um, during O week, you also got the chance to talk to professors or like the head of, depart of each department. Um, so basically, since ours was virtual, but we had like one whole thing where you could hop around to like any major or any department and go talk to professors that decided to participate. And like there were a lot of part um, a lot of participants. And so that I found to be very helpful because you could kind of get a feel for what the classes are like, how rigorous they are. Um, and it was just really helpful in deciding your major even or just like what classes you wanted to take. Yeah, normally they have like in person fairs. Um... But this year they had a setup, I forget what the website is called, um, where you could like, it, there were like virtual booths, which is what she was talking about. And it ended up being very helpful, even though it was online. So that was cool. Uh, yeah, also just even away from faculty and people that like students that have been assigned to do these roles, asking any students that have taken classes before it's just super useful, especially uh, from what Shiri was talking about in regards to distribution credits, because outside your major, it's not always 100% clear what you might enjoy. So asking other students, uh, especially upperclassmen, what the best classes are to take um, in those distributions has been really helpful for me. Yeah, our, one of our OE advisors strongly encourages us to take RP225, <laughs> which is like an architecture class. Um, for, I think it counts as humanities, like an arts. So that's just an example, which is kind of cool. Also, one more thing. Um, when you're signing up for classes, our, like, the software that we use to do that has um, students and, like, they, like, review the classes. So you can go see, like, their comments on the class, like, before you sign up for it. And also there's, like, rankings on, like, how much the workload is, how organized it is, like, all these different um, criteria. And um, you can just kind of see, you can even see, like, what the average grade was in the class, like, and those things can be really helpful when you're deciding, too. Okay, so I'm trying to find our next question. Oh, so what are some of your favorite areas on campus or even off campus to study? Um, I love going to the library. Um, it's, it's hours are pretty long. Um, it's almost always open. And there's all the way from the basement to the sixth floor and there's different like levels of studying you can do there. Like the first floor, can, there's like some talking, the sixth floor, there's none at all. Um, and so you get to choose like where in the library you go to for that. And I just find it very peaceful to study there. Um, and there's, I mean, you always see people you know too, which is kind of fun. Also, uh, Rice has some really good outdoor spaces, especially with the weather we've had so far. Um, we like to go to the RMC courtyard, um, which is actually outside the student run coffee house. So you can get a coffee and then you can go and study. And it's really pretty and lit up with lots of trees. Um, so that's a really nice place to study. It's relaxing and it's a change of scenery having sat at a desk for most of the day. <laughs> yeah, and it's nice. Um, I have, since my, a lot of my classes are on Zoom, I can just go outside and do my classes online, which is kind of cool. Like, you get to go somewhere else outside, and the weather has been super nice, especially since Rice is in Houston. Like, it doesn't get cold very easily, so. Yeah, no, um, I agree with both of those places. There's outdoor seating, like, all around campus. Like, um, you'll have tables and chairs, like, all around, even outside each residential college. So you can go to any of those. And the three of us go to the RMC courtyard pretty often. Um, yeah, so I think there's a lot of spots that are good. Actually looking into this, does Rice only have one library or does it have multiple? I think it has like the Fondren library, but are there, are there other libraries on campus? That's the main library. Um, there might be a few smaller ones like in the in, different department yeah. buildings. Also but. in each college, each some college. colleges have smaller either libraries or just study spaces. Mm -hmm. um, 
which of course the city will do. Mm -hmm. But Pondrag is in the center of campus, so it's so convenient to get to. So all the residential colleges are kind of like on the outside, and so they're all about the same distance from the library, which is cool. Yeah, I think the business school may have a library or some of the graduate schools, but other than that, like most students just go to, to Fondren. I was just curious about that. Um, so what have been your favorite life live event experiences on campus? So theater shows, sports events, guest speakers, etc. And this might look different with virtual, like everything being virtual, but if you've had like virtual um, events that have like guest speakers, what has been your favorite one so far? Um, definitely for me, it's been the college events. Um, Elizabeth's on the socials committee, so she's very um, in on all those things. But we've had, a, especially at the beginning of the year, we had a goat theme event because our college's mascot is a goat. Um, and it's just, it's just really fun to hang outside with people from your college. Um, some people sh have shared interests and some people you probably never meet if you didn't go to the events. Um, but it's nice to just relax, normally on a Friday afternoon, just in the quad, um, and meet, yeah, meet new people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like one of the events um, was a game night, and that could be like part virtual, so some of the people that were remote could still attend the event. Um, but then there's also like the in-person side of it, um, which we call like a fit queue, um, Friday in the quad. And one of, a few weeks ago, we had like pumpkin carving, which is really fun, and they like brought a bunch of pumpkins here um, and everyone just hung out, had like carved pumpkins and roasted corn. Um, each college will also host watch parties for different things. Um, for example, Jones has watch parties for the Bachelorette this year. So that's really fun. Um, and also for different cultural events, um, there was, I think there was like a Latinx night a few days ago. Um, there was, the like South Asian Society event a, a couple weeks ago, um, and each college had a watch party for it. So I think um, that's a really neat way also to experience like different cultures um, in your college and just be around people and meet different people. So I know you've already mentioned like the residential college system, but since it's so specific to Rice, I want to like bring it up again. Um, so how has Rice's residential college system played a role in your undergraduate experience? And then also, I've always wondered, do the different colleges compete with each other? Um, and like, what, like, what does that look like? Yes, so it begins with O-Week. Um, and Orientation Week, we already begin competing with other colleges through like different mini events, which is cool. There's 11 residential colleges. Um, so we're in one of them, Jones. Um, and it's cool because you have, it makes you, it makes you have like a family that um, you live close to, and there are off-campus students, but even if they're off-campus, they're still affiliated with the, the um, college. So there's different events where like off-campus students can come and you get to meet them. Whereas like in a regular residential system, you might not necessarily meet the off-campus people or the upperclassmen. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have uh, RAs, which help lead some of the events. And so you get to know your RAs pretty well. Um, and so you, there's always, there's like a big group of people you can connect with um, and hang out with when you wouldn't normally in um, your like daily life of classes and whatnot. Yeah, and also in regards to competing with each other, um, there is Jones, uh, one of Jones's biggest <laughs> events, but also for Rice, um, Beer Bike, which is sort of a competition that involves biking and drinking lots of water, um, and the, all the all the colleges compete against each other. Um, and obviously, we haven't got to experience it yet, but we hope we will <laughs> at least in the if not this year, next year. Um, so that's a, an event that's really looked forward to, and a lot of people talk about it. Mm -hmm. So that's really when the rivalries come through. Yeah, <laughs> it's sometime in March, so well, we'll have to see. Hopefully, it happens this year. <laughs> Yeah, and in addition, there's also intramural, intramural, oh my god, I can't speak right now, um, intramural sports that happen, um, and that the colleges also compete against each other for those, so like some big ones are like powder puff, and um, I think flag football, 
and um there's like every other sport basically so those are we also haven't really experienced that due to covid but um i think that's something that's pretty big at rice also okay so something that kind of ties into this is what is school culture like and how would you describe the environment on campus so kind of going back to the residential colleges each college has like their own culture for example, Jones is known for its floor culture. So each floor, um, you kind of are assigned a floor based on personality usually, and um, your floor really bonds and has different activities. And even like the floors will like compete against each other. Like we have like floor Olympics um, and different things like that. So, and then other colleges have commons culture. So they have one big commons area where people will um, like hang out in like basically at all times you can go in there, someone will be in there. Um, so those different things like make it really easy to just be around people all the time. Um, I I know Imogen and Elizabeth are sitting in like our floor lobby right now, which we hang out in pretty often if we're not doing anything. And so just things like that um, just make it really easy to be around people and not isolate yourself and just have a strong community. Yeah, also just for Rice as a whole university, um, so far what I've experienced, it is uh, small. So especially now, there's not that many people around because of COVID, but the just the ability to go to another college and meet other people, it make, I feel like makes the atmosphere just very friendly in general. Um, everyone's willing to talk to you. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're from or what college you're from. And, you'll probably find something in common. So it's really nice to have that um, and be a part of that big community. Um, so some of the questions that I had for that admissions counselor, um, but I don't know if you guys could answer this. So how would you characterize the students who come to RISE? But it could just be like, how would you characterize some of your friends? I'd say everyone's, so everyone that I've met so far has been very motivated, um, but even though everyone's super motivated academically, everyone has just wanted to make friends. I mean, since we're freshmen, I guess we have like the freshman perspective um, of everyone coming together during a week um, and not knowing anyone else, um, but finding like a family where you are. Um, so I think there's, there's a culture of family here. So everyone who comes is open to like meeting new people very quickly um and getting to know people and you find some you find people to study with to talk to your class to talk about your classes with um and just relate to even if you may may have come from very different backgrounds also to add on to that i think there's just such a wide variety of people from different backgrounds like rice is so diverse um i mean just within our group like we have two internationals two um like just people from all over and it's i think that's um really cool because you really just get a different perspective on everything and i'm from iowa so i haven't really been exposed to like things like that just like meeting people from all around the world um so that's been something that's really special to me and i think rice does a really good job of like like bringing out the diversity and making sure that um everyone feels included in some way um so for those that are looking to apply to rice what kind of advice would you give them like application wise and if they're looking into rice what advice would you give them um i think on meeting so many people here, it's very clear that no one's just here for academics. Everyone has other strings to their mm -hmm. bow. Like people are either extremely musically talented or very sporty, or even if you're not very like driven in one of those areas, there's so much extra curricular around here that people will just join. Um, and so definitely having more than one skill, more than being open-minded and being willing to experience other things uh, not just for your application but just for the future as well um, I think it's a big part of rice you can't afford to just think you're gonna go with one path and stick stick with it so that's really nice and I think that's something to think about when you're applying also I think um, in terms of application like showing 
interest like specific to rice because rice has such a unique culture and community i think um when applying it's really important that you first of all like know about that culture um just to whatever capacity you can and making sure that you truly do want to go there and like making sure that that's like known in your application so this is our last question is there anything you'd change about your rice experience so far i know you guys are all freshmen but like is there anything that you would change about your freshman experience i wish we weren't in a pandemic but you know we can't change that so but i think rice has done a really good job um handling the whole situation and going into it i was like okay we might get sent home in a month like i have no idea but we ended up having a full semester which was really cool um and there were there were a lot more social events than i expected so even though if that's something i could change um i still had a lot of fun for semester i guess um for me personally it would probably be my study habits um i've had a lot of long nights um <laughs> and due to procrastination so i wish that was something that um i fixed but also i think those things characterize my first semester and i think i've learned from them and grown from them so i think it's kind of part of the college experience but also i guess looking back i kind of wish i didn't have to pull any all-nighters or anything like that Okay, well, that was the last. That was our last question. So, thank you all for being here. Um, thank you for Amanda for being behind the scenes, and that wraps up our rice admissions Q and A.